everybody, it's Martin again. Today I'm tying a small tarpon uh, bug fly. It's called the tarpon bug. Um, it's dead simple. Quick tie, but a guide fly really. I mean, you can knock them up. You can knock them up quite quickly. Um, what's for tarpon and snook? Probably work for some other species as well. I'm tying these quite small. Um, I'm tying these in a size one. So you can tie them up to three or if you want, if you want it bigger. Um, so I'm using a size one TMCO 600 SP. So a good a good tarpon hook. You could use an Onaraki um, as well. And then I'm starting my first thread, which is. Uh, just clear monofilament. And I'm taking that back to in line with the barb. Snip my snip my waist piece. Um and then I'm tying in the I'm gonna tie in the tail. The tail is just um chartreuse fin raccoon, you could use Arctic fox I suppose, but it's a bit shorter on the fibre. Polar fox, marble marble fox might be a bit, a bit more suitable because it's a bit longer. The tail should be about three times the length of the shank. Tight wraps just to hold it, and then oh, I trim the butts at a wee angle, a wee angle to help me get a, a nice smooth run down with, with my thread. And then I'm going to just put a wee touch of super glue into these butts here before I tie them down just to help. Help everything to grip and stick with the slick thread. Just, just tapping it with my fingers just to sort of take away any excess or set it off so it doesn't it doesn't uh, um, affect us when we tie the body later. I'm just going to take a few post wraps. Um, around the base of the tail just to stick it up there and stop and help prevent it from fouling or you could just tie a nylon loop if you want it um, for the flash I'm using some EP Sparkle and Olive um, the original just called for some crystal flash but I like I like the sort of angel hair style fibre um, Even though it's a bit, it can be a bit uh, of a pain sometimes to control the angel here, but I like it, I like the effect you get. So, I'm just got to come in and tie a few strands of this in, fold it over, and then tie back on top of it. So, it, there's a nice sort of subtle, So a wee bit of flash, just trying to just make sure it's spread, sort of spread across the tail, so it's not just sitting on top. And then for the body, I'm using an EP streamer brush. Uh, you can also use a, a sparkle brush that works quite nicely as well. Um, so I'm using again just an olive brush here. Obviously, you could change the colours to suit what you like. I'll just uh, fold the tag end back just for a bit of security although you don't really need to and then I'll advance my thread to the eye or just behind the eye and then just wind the brush forward and touch and turn just sweep everything back oh, close turns anyway um, don't try to avoid trapping any fibres 
um, from the last wrap. Right, just keep going. Just sweep it back after each turn. Then when you get up to your level with your thread, just, just uh, if you just sort of separate the brush fibres, and then bring your thread through the gap, take a couple of tight turns in front, back over the brush, then one in front again, and that locks it securely in place, and then just Spiral the, the wire and until you get a nice clean break. Okay. Next thing is just um, get your dubbing needle and just push it through the brush. Make sure you free any trapped fibres. Well, if you've been careful, there won't be any. It'll just be sort of tangled around the shank. Or there won't be many, I should say. Then, if you separate it across the back, right, so evenly, um, sweep the fibres to either side, and then if you put your index finger on top of the shank, and then pinch with a your middle finger and your thumb against the sides that will stop the fibres from rolling up as you tie back so tie back with just a couple of open wraps to about the to get about a third of the way down the shank maybe slightly more and that helps sort of lock the the fibres at the front and the sideways position and that will encourage the rest of them to follow suit and then I just like to uh, just trim this a wee bit, and if you sort of, instead of trimming like a straight line, if you angle your scissors in, it'll be a sort of, a nicer, you know, less of a straight unnatural line, more kind of na more buggy looking, um, slightly rougher and uneven. And now it's time for the eyes. Um, you can use EP eyes. I'm using my own eyes. These are epoxy coated in acrylic. I quite like um, I quite like them because they're actually sort of translucent when you when you hold them up when you see them up to the sun. They sort of glow um, like when they're viewed from beneath. So. If you line them up, make sure the eyes are even, and then come in with a pair of pliers and just, just make sure they're the same length again, so there's no slip in my hand, and crimp the nylon. Right. That gives you a nice flat tie in spot, and you're going to know they're the right length. Let's try on one on my side. Make sure that they line up nicely. And you want them sort of sitting on the side. 
take two or three wraps. Try and keep them on the side of the shank rather than on top. Because they will try to creep up together. Right. And then I just like to come in with my wee side my wee snips here. Side cutters and just trim them close. Then so I give them a wee bend, see how you like the way they're sitting. And then if you push them forward then just put some thread wraps behind them. That will help to spread them out to the side. Just then I'll just take my thread and one open turn to the front, I'm trying to keep that fairly, fairly level. If it building up too much, then I'm going to start some hot orange thread to give me my nose. Just a waist. Just a couple, a couple of layers is enough just to build up a, a nice wee hot spot. Nice and even. A couple of turns in behind just to help hold them off. And then a hot finish. A super glue and then a couple of coats of his cement and that's bulletproof. And there you have the tapping bug. I hope you liked that. If you did or if you didn't, uh, please leave a comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Tell me the sort of flies that you would like to see tied. Thanks a lot guys. Bye. <laughs>